I honestly feel like in every single video of mine, like, I always have a coffee featured in it, but, like, if I didn't, that just wouldn't be me. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I make lifestyle content on this YouTube channel. So if you couldn't already tell by the title already, we are getting back into the groove of school and getting into back to school content. And honestly, I would 100% be lying if I said that I did not spend 99% of my time watching college move-in vlogs and dorm move-in vlogs and stuff even though I'm literally moving nowhere. That has occupied so, so much of my time. It's incredible. But I kind of wanted to get into the groove of back to school and film a few back to school college life videos for you guys because I do post a lot of school vlogs, day in my life vlogs, school in my life vlogs. I don't know what they're called, but like I post a lot of school content on here. So if you're new here, I'm very heavily on school. I go to Concordia University and I am in my third year, so... We love that and I'm also studying communication studies so that is about me if you're interested in that don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow along on the journey so a video that I was really into when I was first starting off in college university was college essentials because sometimes you really like don't know what you need like obviously you know you need like the notebooks what else do you need the pencils the pens and stuff like that but like sometimes there's things that you just like miss out or like you forget or like don't even realize that you need so this video is for you i wanted to do a kind of regular one and then a dorm one even though i've never lived in a dorm but i literally told you i am obsessed with the dorm videos so i know quite a lot of what you need so this first video will be basically what you need for everyday stuff in general and i'm hoping to make a dorm one soon so if you're interested in that let me know but let's just jump right into the video the first thing you would need is blue light glasses. Honestly, these are a lifesaver. So I actually have like prescribed glasses because I can't see from far. But when I got my glasses renewed and my prescription renewed, I ended up getting blue light glasses or the blue light tint or whatever it's called on my glasses. A lifesaver. Especially since a lot of school is online now and because of COVID and everything, you will be looking at a screen so much more. Regularly, you're looking at a screen a lot because you have to write assignments and write essays and readings and stuff like that. Like you're generally looking at it a lot. But now with the implemented like online school thing, you're looking at it even more. So blue light glasses are 100% a must have. I used to have so, so many headaches when I would be doing work or homework or anything like that because I use my computer and iPad and phone a lot it's it's been a lifesaver so i would highly recommend investing in blue light glasses you can get them literally on amazon you don't need a prescription obviously if you don't need to see if you know what i mean so you can get them on amazon please 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 i highly recommend i think i've said that a thousand times already but a must have the next thing is my life a planner so i know a lot of people like digital and some people like physical i like both but whichever one you choose, like, you need a planner, 100% trust me. Planners like blue light glasses have saved my life. I am the type of person to pretend that I'm going to remember stuff and then completely forget about it or mix up due dates or things like that. So having a planner, whether it be physical or an electronic one, has helped me so much. It's helped me actually be able to do my stuff by deadlines and, like, not fall behind. I love to plan everything, especially with being in school, working a part-time job, doing YouTube, having a podcast, having two businesses, and doing freelance work. Having a planner is really, really, really important. It helps me plan out my weeks. And with school, trust me, you're going to want this because you're going to have essays to do, you're going to have assignments to do, all for different classes. And sometimes those things can get really like mixed up. So having a planner to plan everything out is you need that. The next thing is a water bottle or a hydro flask. They're the same thing, but you know, hydro flask, visco girl, they're popping. Especially right now during COVID, you don't want to use like your school's water fountains because it can be dirty. 
you're gonna need water sometimes trust me especially when you're like stressed in class water helps so definitely carry around a water bottle with you so the next thing is not like an essential and a need but it's something that I got and I'm loving it so far so I bought myself an iPad for school I am in love with it already I use so many things to plan on it I write on it and I think it's going to be a very very good asset I don't know if that's the word. But a very good addition to my school life. I'm going to be able to do readings on there, highlight, write stuff out, not waste as much paper as I usually do. I am not the only one that thinks that my iPad has like saved my life and has been such a good addition to school and regular business work. I highly recommend if you do have the funds. I know some people don't and that's okay. I understand like I'm privileged and I was able to get myself one but this is just something that I believe that helps me in school and stuff and will help me in the long run so I just want to add that in there. The next thing is a good backpack or like a purse bag or something like that. You need a good one, you need a, you need a sturdy one. Trust me, it's not all about the cute looks and everything like you need a bag that will literally help your back and save your back and save your shoulders and even if your school is online like mine i'm going to be going to cafes a lot because i cannot work in my room all day long all the time i'm going to be going to cafes a lot and you're going to be carrying like either books your laptop an ipad a planner notebooks and stuff like that and like it gets heavy Trust me, it gets heavy. And you're not going to want to have a bag that is literally like bringing your shoulder down like this or like breaking your back. Like you want a good, sturdy, but cute also, but a good, good, good backpack or a purse bag. Like I said, it's very, very essential. And I just want to save you guys from the many, many muscle aches and back aches and shoulder aches that I had to go through. It is not worth it, okay? It is not worth it. Another one would be to have headphones. I have AirPods. And I love them, but honestly, you can even get like any, any, any headphones, any wired headphones, any wireless headphones, like any headphones are a must have also. Whether you're in person classes and you're walking between class to class, or whether you're online class and you're commuting to a cafe or walking to a cafe or anything like that, you need headphones. I feel like listening to music or listening to podcasts on my way to do schoolwork, just like, it gives you that extra energy and that extra push and I I love it. So I honestly highly recommend you get earphones if you don't have any already because it's going to save you a lot of time. And also, if you're walking in the halls or you're walking somewhere and you see someone that you don't want to communicate with, you can literally just have your headphones in, pretend you're vibing, pretend you don't see them and just like walk on by. I've done it quite a few times. Just a little heads up there. Another thing I highly suggest getting is a portable charger. I swear by my portable charger, I use it literally all the time. You don't know if you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the library or you're going to be having to go somewhere after school or something and like you don't want your phone to die or your products to die that you're using. Having a portable charger just is great. Highly recommend, just trust me. And the last thing I have on this list is a coffee machine. I guess this kind of goes into like the dorm life, but also living at home. Like you're going to spend a lot of money on coffee outside. When you're home, just use a coffee machine. I have an espresso. I love it. I use it all the time. My coffee that you saw me drinking before it was from my espresso machine. I don't know. Like I agree or I don't even know if anyone agrees with me, but I have an assumption that coffee from like other places like Starbucks or local cafes and stuff just tastes better because someone else made it for me. Like I don't know if it's like just a psychological thing, but that's how I feel. So obviously I love to get like a good coffee like from somewhere else. But when I'm home, like sometimes you just gotta save the bucks and make your own coffee. So I highly suggest getting a coffee machine, whether it be a Keurig or an Espresso or any other brand that makes good coffee, get it do it no questions asked i am obsessed with mine and i made my whole family obsessed with it so that's when you know they're good and espresso please sponsor me so that is basically the end of this video just eight little things that i think that are essential for your college life i would love to know what you guys consider a college essential whatever i missed out on please leave them down below so that other people can see them and also get on board on what they need and honestly even though I'm in my third year sometimes you never know what I need so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me below and let me know any other college life videos that you want to see from me I'm super excited for the school year to start honestly like being in quarantine for five months 
made me so bored. I am literally for the first time in my life saying that I'm excited to go back to school. So I hope you guys enjoyed it like I said and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to me below and I will see you next time. And remember live life, don't think twice, I'm out of here.